This video was sponsored by Best Fiends. More on Best Fiends in a little bit. I consider myself to be a pretty confident and social guy, but the situation I hate more than anything is seeing someone who I find really attractive and having no idea what to say to them. And this can be a total stranger or someone that you've known for a while, but either way, going up to somebody and just starting a good conversation, like a flirty good conversation, is really tough. Once you're in the middle of a conversation, it's not stressful or difficult. And, you know, from a distance, it's really easy to just look cool. But actually going up and making that first move is not only terrifying, but if you say the wrong thing, you can screw it up and just look stupid. But, you know, I'll say this, the times that I have gone up to somebody with a pretty good intro has almost always been a positive experience. In fact, my last girlfriend, before I met her, was just a stranger at a bar, so I know for a fact that some of these things really work. So today, let's talk about the best and flirtiest ways to start a conversation with that beautiful stranger. So the safest thing you can do is to try and bond over some sort of mutual interest. Are oh, you watching the football game? I love sports. I see that you're reading Shakespeare. So, uh, to kiss me or not to kiss me, that is the question. Hi, I'm Andrew. Let's start over. So I see that you're on your phone a lot. Uh, you don't happen to be playing Best Fiends, do you? Oh, you are. Well, first of all, I find you way more attractive because of that. And second of all, I almost wish that you didn't have the game downloaded just so I could introduce you to the thrill of this game again and get you $5 in golden diamonds by using my download link in the description below. If only there was someone who hasn't downloaded it yet. If you didn't know, Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to defeat slugs by matching same colored objects. And this month, Best Fiends is having their biggest update ever and adding over 150 new levels. Wow, 150? I can't even count that high. Seriously, it's it's a pretty big problem for me. I get lost somewhere after 30 and it it's, it's ruining my life right now. But yeah, the basic premise here is just connecting over a shared thing and if they're into it, turning that into a different conversation, getting to know each other a little more. And sometimes instead of a shared interest, it can be a shared experience. Even though it's a stranger and you haven't experienced much yet, it can be something going on around you, I don't know. One time I was on a bus, and this is actually a really gross story, it, it leaked, like something dripped on me, and I was really disgusted, so I like recoiled into the person beside me, who I guess I hadn't looked at before. Turns out, they're this gorgeous girl, and we start connecting over how this was such a gross, thing to happen, and then we start talking about other stuff, and we ended up exchanging numbers. But it, it could honestly be anything. Like, did you hear that guy snoring in class? How am I supposed to focus with that much noise? The next type of introduction that I would suggest is leading with a compliment. And I don't mean like, hey, you're hot. Generally, I find physical compliments to be kind of creepy because I don't know like how to reply to them. Like, if someone goes up to you and just says, hey, you're hot. Like, thank you. You can leave now. No, what I would suggest doing is complimenting something that they had to have put thought into. Like, hey, that is a sick phone case. I've always wanted to get a nice phone case, but I don't trust myself enough to not drop my phone, so I have to get one of those bulletproof ones that are really ugly. Boom. Conversation. Someone you at least slightly know, you could go, hey, your Instagram theme is beautiful. How do I do that? Don't take this the wrong way, but I think I'm in love with your dog. Oh my god, that is the cutest dog I've ever seen. This is just such a great way to get people talking about something they care about. If they put in work or thought into something and you compliment it, they're gonna wanna explain their own brilliance. That's just human nature. So yeah, give, let's call them loaded compliments. Loaded because it's not just a thank you compliment, it's something that gets them talking about themselves. And lastly, a great way to get someone involved in conversation with you is to just ask for help. But careful here, because there's definitely a line where you're too needy and you gotta stay away from that. I mean, you don't wanna be like, hey, Spare some change. Also, what are you doing later? You just want to get a little tidbit of advice or help before asking them other things and eventually turning into just a conversation. Another example of what's too far and what isn't is you don't want to ask for somebody's notes from a lecture because that's just saying, hey, do my work for me. And most likely they're not going to want to be your friend after that because you're just trying to leech off of them. But on a smaller scale, if you were to be like, hey, did you understand that one part the prof was talking about? Because that just went right over my head. Because it's such a more minor thing, they can just help you quickly and then you can turn around into something else. Wow, you're really good at this. Are you majoring in etc. My friend's birthday's coming up and I want to get her a shirt just like that. Where did you get it? Is that food good? Because I have no idea what to order here. And if you're not down for any of those help-seeking intros and you're having a hard time thinking of your own, 
You can always use my tried and true one. I'm so sorry, can you hold this for just one second? Boom, now we're holding hands. Hi, I'm Andrew. Yes, my hands are always this soft. Anyway, that was it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And I'm curious, what are the craziest lines or intros that you've either given or gotten from another random person? Let me know in the comments below. On screen right now are some of my favorite comments from the last video where I asked you guys, what are some of the craziest secret things you've caught yourself doing because you'd like someone? Also, I wanna give a big Instagram shout out to Curdy, who is a new follower and liked a bunch of my pictures. So thank you, Curdy. Alexandria, uh, also a new follower, spam the hell out of me. I appreciate it, thank you. And Chloe, you've left me some super sweet comments and I've seen you message me and you're just total sweetheart and I just really appreciate it so thank you so much so go follow those three and hey while you're at it follow me and spam a bunch of my pictures for a chance to potentially be given a shout out at the end of my next video if you haven't already you should download best fiends link in the description and subscribe to me if you're not already because I make new videos every week and if you're still looking for some advice videos click right here to get those and with all that being said I'll see you next time peace